हेलो वेलकम बैक गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अ ब्रांड न्यू वीडियो ऑफ माइटी गोस्ट हैक यूट्यूब चैनल सो गाइस दिस वीडियो विल बी द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ एंगुलर परफॉर्मेंस ऑप्टिमाइजेशन प्लेलिस्ट एंड इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच द प्रीवियस वीडियो देन यू मस्ट चेक दोज वीडियो एंड दोज वीडियो विल बी द इम्पॉर्टेंट टू नो फॉर द ऑप्टिमाइजेशन ऑफ एंगुलर एप्लीकेशन नाउ मूव इन टू टूडेज टॉपिक and this will be the fifth video of the angular optimization playlist where we will look into angular compilation here on this slide you can see the highlighted text which will be the today's main topic so right now on the screen you can see the big size text as it says that there are the two ways of compilation of angular code to javascript so before we move further let me explain to you what is compiler in short so compiler is a computer program that transform the source code into the computer language so as per the definition its main work to translate the written code into machine understandable format so here on this angular machine compiler will be used to translate the code written by the developer into the machine understandable format in this case the machine understandable format is the javascript which is a render on the browser so here on the angular there are the two main compilation option available one is jit as you can see here which is which means just in time compilation and another one is aot which means ahead of time compilation let me explain its behavior so jit just in time so jit just in time compiler work at runtime and aot ahead of time compiler work at the build time now it may sound difficult to you for right now just keep in mind that the just in time compilation compilation work when the code is compiled in the browser runtime you can also remember as a it work as a runtime and ahead of time compilation when the code is compiled as a part of build process so just keep in mind that just in time work only at a runtime and ahead of time compilation work only on the build time so it is mostly recommended by the expert to use the aot compilation while deploying your project on the server first let me explain its functionality then we will move into its drawback and disadvantages so right now on the screen you can see the structure diagram of jit as a just in time okay so the diagram is illustrator only for the demonstration don't just get confused we will make it easier by comparing with the aot diagram so here on the screen you can see the diagram is a just in time compilation process and another one we have the aot ahead of time compilation so let me come to the just in time so here this rectangular box you can consider as a compiler which will do the all the template verification parsing and all the tree syncing process so consider it has a compiler so in just in time the compilation part are done on runtime here you can see as per the definition now in aot diagram so the basic difference between those two diagram are the main vertical line see here you can see that in jit it is just before the compiler and here it is after the compiler so which means in just in time compilation happen only in run time but in case of aot the compilation happen in build time so the runtime there is no compilation is done that's why the aot is considered as the most 
advantages over the JIT. Just to the next slide. So, this is also the next tree diagram for the demonstration here on the browser screen. The compilation happen every time whenever the request is made. But in case of ahead of time, the compilation happen in building time. So, whenever the request is made to the server, there is a no compilation will happen. Now I consider you may understand the basic difference between the basic difference between AOT and JIT compilation. So let's see its advantages of AOT ahead of time over the JIT just in time compilation and why it's mostly recommended. So right now on the screen I open the source map analyzer of single angular project and if you don't know what it is then I recommended watching my previous video where I explain it at least after watching that video you might have the idea you can also watch that video by clicking on the I button so right now on the screen I open the JIT project source map analyzer so I open the single pro angular project map analyzer and obviously it contains a just-in-time compiler now here on the source map analyzer you can see this rectangular portion which contain 46 point five percentage of space which all are taken by the angular compiler okay so as per the definition JIT is a runtime compiler so in order to compilation of project on runtime it must be here so we have two major disadvantages of JIT one is it recompile every time whenever the request is made and another is it will increase the build size here you can see that it contain almost 46.5 percentage of your project here build size is it is here build size is 806.7 kb but out of 46.5 percent is taken by the angular compiler so as you know that it is not good to have the large size of bundle ultimately it will take time to load on the browser so this is all just for the just in time compiler just in time compilation now let me move into AOT compilation now in this source map analyzer here we can see it does not contain any compilation so now here all those compilation steps done when you build the project by the command ng build now hope I hope it I hope this diagram will clarify your all the doubt also I wanted to clarify you might be thinking that how this possible why there is no compiler so let me remind you that the compiler only work to translate the written code into machine understandable format so once it done it finish its work so it does, does not require that's why the in case of AOT all the compilation step done on the build time so it doesn't require the AOT compilation on our build on our bundle now just see the next slide here I added the two project screenshot and one of them is AOT and another is JIT so simply look at their loading time here here you can see that JIT compilation project take 420 millisecond but in case of ahead of time it take 288 millisecond so there is a complete major difference you can see that so I hope you understand how AOT will be help now there are some more advantages of AOT over the JIT here you can see that one of them is faster rendering 
as you know that the its compilation all are done on the build time so therefore browser loads only the executable code that's why it will render immediately very fastly here another is angular application size as we seen that so due to absence of compiler on our bundle it reduce the application size now better code quality what it's mean so it basically means it also performed the templates error and detection early when you compile and building the project also more secure and robust application this means typescript component are not evaluated dynamically at runtime that's why it's more secure we can consider also help us to prevent from the injection attack that's why it's keep it more secure now by seeing all those advantages you might be asked how we can achieve such optimization on our project so here goes the command here in this slide you can see for the just in time in order to serve in order to running the project we will use the ng serve as we all mostly use this command and for the building we use the ng build okay but if you wanted to use ahead of time aot in your project then you need to just simply add the single flag aot on your terminal simply adding aot it will enable the aot on your project ahead of time and let me remind you there is a one side note as well the side note is from angular version 9 by default aot is enabled in the project in this screenshot you can see if you have the higher version of angular then you have to just open the angular json file and in that you will see the aot params and which is are true by default which means higher version of angular are already enable the aot on your application this is all done by the optimization but it's better to know that suppose if you have the older version then how you can enable the aot on your project that's why um, you need to use this flag but in case of higher version you don't need to use the flag simply ng serve or ng build will help it help to you also suppose you don't want it to use the aot you can simply uh, change its value to false then it normally use the jit compilation on your project now there are some minor drawback of aot as well let me explain to you one is aot does not support uh, certain libraries so it may cause the problem for the project optimization or bundle size problem and another disadvantage of aot would it take some time to load on your local build so why it's taking some time to load on your local project that's because of it's doing all those template checking verification detection tree checking as well as it minify the code so it's mostly recommended that aot will be better to use for the production so i hope you understand the aot compiler importance for the project optimization and lastly thank for the watching also like comment and share with your friends till then bye